The Department of Defense is one of the largest consumers of energy in the world. In fact, they account for 1% of the United States energy consumption. Because ARPA-E invests in innovative new energy technologies that makes them a perfect partner for the Department of Defense. Military Sea Lift Command ships operate in all different weather conditions, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, all around the world. Saving energy is not just a matter of protecting the environment, it's also a matter of making sure that these ships can be on call and supporting their mission whenever they're needed, wherever they're needed. Maintaining uh, cool temperatures and a low humidity level on board our ships is actually vital to proper equipment function. Um, it's also extremely important to prevent corrosion, which is a constant battle when you're on a ship in a hot, humid environment. Based upon membrane technology, first developed out at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, Texas A&M is now working on a project that literally pulls the water vapor out of the air, which then makes the air that much easier to heat or cool as you need it. We have developed a new dehumidification technology that uses no refrigerants and can be combined with evaporative cooling to provide uh, complete air conditioning. One of the Navy applications is dehumidifying cargo spaces in their cargo ships. This is one of those perfect applications where our technology offers a great deal higher uh, efficiency than the existing technologies. We have had to look for better components. We've had to scale up the membrane production. We've had to get water vapor compressors that have much higher efficiency than uh, the existing ones in the market. And we've had to look in particular at ways for condensing large volumes of low pressure water vapor. The current challenge is scaling up the production of the membranes from pieces about this big in the laboratory to the place where we can produce tens and hundreds of square meters of membrane and of course eventually it will need to be go to thousands and millions of square meters to go into commercial production. But with this technology the Navy will use about half as much fuel for this application which leads to a greater state of military readiness. Whether on a commercial or a military ship, the last thing you want is a catastrophic failure of your energy storage system. If you can have an early indication of an impending failure, and perhaps even prevent that failure, you could not only save those batteries, but perhaps even save lives. This is exactly the technology that Nexeris has been partnering with the Navy on. So this technology really focuses on lithium-ion battery safety. And what we're trying to do is add an additional way of assessing the state of a battery system by looking at the off-gas species that are coming from the cells. So what that actually looks like is it looks fairly similar to maybe an oxygen sensor for a car, where we've taken the sensor, we've packaged it into a probe-style housing. That housing can either be mounted on a flange or it can be through-wall mounted if it's going inside of a module or a battery rack. Those points of detection can be distributed throughout the battery system uh, to provide a network of localized gas monitors. And then for our rack-mounted solution, we actually have a controller, so there's kind of a main hub that all of those points of detection will plug into. So the output of our system will tell another system, such as a ventilation, such as fire suppression, such as a battery management system, that a battery in a specific part of their system has experienced an off-gas event. We were able to provide some prototypes to the Navy, um, and they've been able to use those in uh, battery abuse tests that they've run. Um, they've been very happy with the amount of early warning that the off-gas technology has been able to provide to them. A lot of what we do is figuring out ways to replace or augment current equipment with more energy efficient equipment. ARPA-E energy technologies can help the Department of Defense reduce their energy demand, cut their operating costs, and improve overall mission readiness.